Naruto, who is already under the influence of the Nine Tails Chakra, begins to enter into his one-tailed form. Sakura and Sai watch in a mix of shock and surprise as the chakra surrounding Naruto's body begins to engulf the air. As Orochimaru mentions Sasuke's name again, Naruto grows a second tail and rushes at him with superhuman speed, punching Orochimaru in the face and causing him to go through several yards worth of trees. Using his face copying technique, Orochimaru reapplies his face as he remarks how Naruto is finally beginning to act like a Jinchuriki. Kabuto himself states that Naruto, using the nine-tailed fox's power, has grown considerably in strength. Yamato recalls his conversation with Jiraiya, Tsunade, and Kakashi at the Kanoa Hospital, where Kakashi and Jiraiya were warning him about Naruto's Nine Tails cloak form. Jiraiya had told Yamato that other than the time where Tsunade nearly killed him for peeking on her when she was nude, the only other time he had almost died was when Naruto entered his four-tailed form. Jiraiya explained that whenever Naruto gave in to anger, the Nine-Tailed Fox's chakra would begin to leak out and envelop him. As Naruto's anger and rage grew, he would begin to grow more tails. On top of that, Naruto could only maintain his consciousness up to three tails, if he were to grow a fourth, his mind would succumb to the nine tails influence and he would instinctively attack on pure rage alone. Jiraiya likens Naruto's version 2 form to being a mini version of the nine tailed fox itself. Jiraiya revealed to the group that when Naruto enters into his four tailed form, the chakra of the nine tailed fox burns his skin off, causing immense pain and leaving Naruto to be covered by just blood and chakra. After the transformation subsides, the Nine Tails Chakra then begins to heal him, the process of egregious damage followed by rapid recovery is shortening Naruto's lifespan. Tsunade had asked how this is even possible, and Jiraiya had explained that the seal the fourth Hokage had used was beginning to weaken over time, explaining why Naruto was succumbing to the Nine Tailed Fox's chakra much more during his bouts of anger as opposed to when he was younger. Tsunade, Jiraiya, and Kakashi tell Yamato that he is the only one who can keep Naruto in check, since he has the power of the first Hokage in his blood. Back on the bridge, Orochimaru realizes that Yamato is team captain only because Naruto is a Jinchuriki, citing that Kanoa should be grateful for his experiments. When Kabuto asks what he means, Orochimaru reveals that back when he was a Kanoa shinobi, he harvested DNA cells from the remains of the first Hokage and attempted to transplant them into babies and children. None of them survived. Before he could officially terminate the experiment and dispose of the subjects, he had been caught by the third Hokage with another experiment in another laboratory, forcing him to flee Kanoa. He realizes that one of those babies who had been injected with the first Hokage's cells had survived, and that the child is none other than Yamato. Orochimaru adds that the first Hokage had the ability to control tailed beasts, and that since Yamato has the power of the first within him, Kanoha assigned him to keep watch on Naruto and control him if need be. When Naruto demands that Orochimaru and Kabuto return Sasuke to them, the duo state that Sasuke came to them of his own accord. Orochimaru tells Naruto that if he wishes to know anything about Sasuke, then he would have to beat it out of him. Naruto gives an even more to the Nine Tails influence and grows a third tail. The sprouting of the third tail causes the chakra in the air to intensify, causing a burning sensation to everyone else on the bridge. Sai realizes that Naruto's true power comes from the Demon Fox, and Orochimaru, after staring into Naruto's changing pupils, senses the burgeoning Nine-Tailed Fox within. Naruto's three-tailed form then begins to form a chakra vortex above them. An infuriated Naruto, now in his three-tailed form, prepares to attack Orochimaru. Kabuto, sensing the attack, decides to strike Naruto from behind with his chakra scalpel. Naruto notices him coming and emits a roar, and his chakra sends Kabuto flying backwards into Sakura, knocking her out. Kabuto continues to soar through the bridge, with Sai and Yamato moving out of the way, as he crashes into a tree in the woods. Naruto's attack ends up destroying the Tenchi bridge, and he goes after Orochimaru, who is on the other side of the bridge. Sai claims that it is the perfect time for his real mission to start, and using his super beast imitating drawing technique creates a giant ink bird. He begins to fly in Naruto and Orochimaru's direction while Sakura, who is knocked out, begins to fall off the bridge. Yamato asks Sai to catch her, but Sai, despite being able to do so, avoids her and lets her fall. Yamato uses his wood release ability to steady the collapsing bridge and to catch Sakura. On the other side, the three-tailed Naruto manages to rip Orochimaru's arm off. Orochimaru, however, uses a body replacement technique that causes him to materialize and regurgitate a new body from his mouth, restoring the limb he had lost. Orochimaru claims that Naruto still isn't good enough and that he's not as strong as Sasuke. In the woods, Kabuto uses his chakra to heal his wounds, while remarking that he finally understands why the Akatsuki are after Naruto, having experienced a sample of the true power of a Jinchuriki. Naruto begins to fade into the recesses of his mind, where he finds himself in a dark area covered with water. 
However, as the light appears, he sees Sasuke running. Naruto attempts to follow him, but is unable to run through the water quickly enough to catch Sasuke, who is riding on top of the water. As the water rises, Naruto struggles to move underwater as Sasuke disappears from view. Naruto recalls his last fight with Sasuke, and how he was unable to prevent his friend from defecting and joining Orochimaru. He berates himself for lacking the strength to stop Sasuke, and vows that he will not allow Sasuke to break the bond of friendship they have between them. Naruto then begins to float through the water until he reaches a huge cage. Naruto begins to slip through the bars of the cage, which is where the nine-tailed fox is imprisoned. The demon fox holds Naruto in his palms as he begins to allow his power to take over Naruto. In the real world, the chakra of the nine-tailed fox begins to rip, burn, and peel away Naruto's skin, leaving just blood and chakra, his peeled skin is soon incinerated by the chakra. Naruto sprouts a fourth tail, and enters into his version 2 form. Yamato and Sakura notices a smoke-like trail left by his chakra while Sai observes the transformation from above. Yamato stays with Sakura while creating a wood clone to find Naruto. Naruto's painful transformation causes him to emanate a wave of chakra, which cracks the trees around them and bursts the giant ink bird Sai is riding on. The Yamato wood clone manages to protect itself by using wood release, wood locking wall, forming a wooden shield. Orochimaru, who also survives the attack, states that Naruto has managed to pique his interest, and wonders what the outcome will be. The Yamato wood clone then sees Naruto's four-tailed form, and curses himself for being unable to prevent it. Naruto, now having no skin, no conscious hold on his body and covered only in blood and chakra, lets out a devastating roar. Naruto, in his four-tailed form, begins fighting against Orochimaru. Orochimaru attempts to use his snakes to grab a hold of Naruto, but the nine-tailed fox's chakra end up incinerating the snakes. As the chakra begins to burn Orochimaru as well, he uses his body replacement technique to regurgitate a new body out of his mouth before the old one is incinerated. Retaining the bottom half of a snake, he slithers in a rapid manner towards Naruto and punches Naruto in the face. Naruto is able to grow another fox head and claws out his chakra and manages to bisect Orochimaru. Using his gathering of the snakes technique, Orochimaru is able to connect and regenerate both of his halves. He attempts to finish Naruto off by spitting out 1000 snakes, each armed with a sword in their mouths. However, Naruto uses one hand to create a devastating blast of pure chakra that incinerates the snakes and sends Orochimaru flying. Sai and the Yamato would clone are unable to interfere due to the intensity of the battle. The wood clone informs Yamato that Naruto has indeed reached his four-tailed form. Sakura and Yamato are approached on the remains of the Tenchi Bridge by Kabuto, who wonders how Kanoha knew that he was to meet Sasori at this time and place. Kabuto states that not even the other Akatsuki members knew of the meeting, and since Sasori isn't the type to give up information under torture, he must have been captured or killed. When Sakura tells him that it's the latter, Kabuto finds joy in it. He tells Yamato and Sakura that Sasori bore a grudge towards Orochimaru and always claimed that he would kill him, and therefore must have told them about his secret meeting in order for them to kill Orochimaru on his behalf. On the other side of the destroyed bridge, Naruto prepares himself to use the ultimate tailed beast technique, tailed beast ball. Yamato's wood clone wonders how Naruto is still able to move, despite having so much chakra on his body, and Orochimaru echoes the sentiment, claiming that that degree of dense chakra should weigh him down. As Naruto swallows the chakra balls, the increased density does indeed cause him to sink into the ground, nonetheless, he fires the tailed beast bomb as a beam towards Orochimaru. The Sanin tries to block the move by summoning Triple Rashomon, one of his highest defensive techniques, but the Triple Rashomon is completely obliterated by the tailed beast bomb. At the end of his rope, Orochimaru resorts to using his sword of Kusanagi in an attempt to impale Naruto. While the sword does hit him, it does not impale, instead, Naruto is sent flying through the air and into a wall near the bridge. Sakura, Yamato, and Kabuto witness Naruto's four-tailed form for the first time, and Kabuto remarks that this is the closest Naruto has ever gotten to fully transforming into the nine-tailed fox. Sakura is terrified at Naruto's appearance.